Zara pushes a curling stone of mass 20 kilograms on ice. She releases the stone and it slides 24 meters in a straight line coming to rest after 16 seconds. Zara models the motion by assuming the frictional force is a constant. Find the initial speed of the stone when Zara releases it. Find the magnitude of the frictional force acting on the stone and calculate the coefficient of friction between the stone and the ice. Like all good mechanics questions, your first step should always be trying to draw a force diagram. So we have a curling stone here on ice. Now what are the forces acting on it? Well, we have the weight 20 G newtons acting downwards and we have a normal reaction to that perpendicular to where it touches the um, surface. And then the only other force that acts on it is the frictional force. And as it's moving, it will be F is equal to mu R. We know it's going to travel 24 meters. We know it's going to take 16 seconds to do that. We, we know the final velocity must be equal to zero because it comes to rest. What we need to find is the initial uh, velocity, which we'll call U. And we will also need to find the acceleration. So two unknowns suggest that we need to use two equations. So using V is equal to U plus AT, because we have a constant uh, frictional force, so the acceleration must be a constant. We're going to have that zero is going to be equal to the initial speed that we need to find plus 16 times A. 16 is the amount of time. Now we'll call that equation one. And then using S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, we're going to have that 24, that's the distance traveled, is going to be equal to 16U plus a half times A times 16 squared. Well, 16 squared is 256 divided by 2 gives 128. So we're going to have 24 is equal to 16U plus 128A. And we notice that 8 goes into each of those things. 24, 3 times, 16, 2 times, so we get 2u, and 128, 16 times. So we, uh, we get 16a there. We'll call that equation 2. Right, solving simultaneously. You've got 2u, we'll put the number 2 first, 2u plus 16a is equal to 3, and then number 1u is equal to plus 16a is equal to 0. We don't need to do any multiplication, we just do a subtraction, that will eliminate a, that will give me 2u minus u, which is u, 16a minus 16a, which is nothing, 3 minus 0, which is 3. So the initial speed is 3 meters per second. It, before we do 2, we will need to find the acceleration. So if we put our value of u into equation 1, we're going to get 3 plus 16a is equal to 0. And that will give me that a is minus 3 over 16 meters per second squared. Redrawing the force diagram. Right, if we now resolve uh, horizontally, so what we're trying to find now is the value of f. That's in the opposite direction. This is a positive direction. So we're going to have minus f is equal to mass times acceleration. So minus f will be 20 times minus 3 over 16. And that will give me that the frictional force is 3.75 newtons. Part 3, we now have to find the coefficient of friction between the curl, curling stone and the ice. So if we now resolve vertically, because we'll need to find R for F is equal to mu R. So R minus 20G will be equal to zero. That gives the normal reaction being equal to 20G. And now use F is equal to mu R. Rearrange that, that mu is equal to F over R. So that's going to be equal to 3.75, the frictional force, divided by the normal reaction, which is 20g. Taking 9.8 as uh, meters per second squared as g, that will give an answer of 0 0.01913, which gives an answer of 0 0.01923 significant figures.
So this has been a video to look at the mechanics of a curling wall. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.